That was the good thing about being a comedian. Bad things happen to you. It's just material. This tastes like a sex with a mistress. I bomb in public. I bomb in private, so I can thrive in public. That's amazing, Jesse. That's pretty really good. It's a good shirt. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tea Time with Jesse. I'm here today with a very special guest of mine, Dalian Summers. So happy to be here. Would you like to give everybody a little bit of a self-introduction? Who are you? What are you up to? Yes. Hi, Jesse's world. Uh, my name is Jiaoying Summers. I'm Jesse, if he's uh, not a Jewish man, but a Chinese woman. <laughs> um, uh, the reason we can do things that uh, crazy, like he does stand up in Mandarin Chinese as mm. a white boy. I do stand up uh, in... He's, he's, I mean, he's fresh off the boat I'm, in China. I'm, I'm fresh off the boat in America, and it's very difficult. It's because... The thing special about us is that because our parents abused us more than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we had, we had problems. Something something happened something to us. Something happened. Something to us happened to us. That we're we are that crazy. And we're going to investigate that. Uh, but before we get into all the oh, yeah, all the I problems, can't focus. yeah, we got to have some tea. Yeah, those um, are beautiful. So this is the ancient tree green tea, the Gu Shu Lü Cha. Can I? Yeah, give that a sniff. This oh, is from uh, Guangxi, the Hong Yao Zi Zhi Chu, the uh, wow. the the Red Yao people. Uh, they have this uh, ancient tree grove over there, wow. and this is one of the four teas that are going to be in the green tea sampler um, that is launching very, very soon. That smells so good. Yeah, depending on when you see this, either the pre-order or the actual thing will be available. I'm actually going to China in not that long. I'm going to meet you in yeah. China, right? Yeah, because I think you're going to be there. in Beijing when I'm going to be in Beijing. We're going to be Beijing, a big reunion. That'll be fun. We'll have a little Beijing party. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the ancient tree green tea. Go. Have this first one. This first one's going to be really light and sweet. Mm, wow. The ancient tree green tea. It's got it's got a little bit more of that depth to it. The ancient tree tea is a little bit funkier, and it um and but the green tea is really really light. So this is a it's kind of almost a unique thing. I don't. It's not easy to find ancient tree green tea. So this is a real a real treat. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Ah, you how? Very good. Mm. 清爽。I was actually going to ask you about this, the adjectives. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, I find it the hardest thing to come up with funny adjectives in the other language. Like, I can describe what's happening. If I tell a funny story in Chinese, mm -hmm. that's funny. But if I want to have that perfect word to describe it, mm -hmm. it's a lot harder. 清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可口。清爽可
Was that uh, was that like what you were expecting coming from China? Where were you from in China originally? Henan. Uh, Henan. Okay, cool. 大大省 No, 大省 Okay, very cool. 人口大省 Yeah. <laughs> so, I I mean I thought I would become pretty when I was uh, when I come to America, but it wasn't the case because I was not confident. Mm. I was slouching. My boob just came in. I was slouching, mm. and I have acne on my forehead. I was wearing <laughs> a band. It's disgusting. Mm. Ugly people wear bands. Like <laughs> hot people wear band when they. Have the mood. Yeah, Other yeah. people cannot have not have bands. Other so people don't have. It's a question of choice. If you are in love with somebody, <laughs> lift the bands first before yeah, yeah, you yeah. really think you're in love. Yeah, because that's the thing. If if you、uh, attracted them and you had the band, and then all of a sudden you take the band off, they might not even recognize you. Yes, might be a different person. Exactly. Might be living in a whole different world. Yes, that would be、Maybe、the way. Maybe it's a different、uh, pronoun. It could be a di- yeah. You never know.、Mm-hmm. You never know. So you were so you were doing、um, so you lived a band life in Kentucky, and yeah, then you were、ugly. like, I'm taking、Slouching. the band. You're slouching. How do you, how do you deal with this? I have the I have the bad posture.、What、My mom hit me in the back whenever she sees me slouching. <laughs> now she lives with me, so it helps. Yeah, so it she, hurts. She, it, she it, physically, you just like. So now I'm slouching. I think about her face. I just go、yeah. like this. That's the, the only true way to knowledge. Yeah, is pain. to feel the pain. I love、yeah. the pain. I, I enjoy pain very much. And that and that that、uh, that that like hits you at like a reptile level. Like、yeah. your reptile brain is just like, oh,、yeah. don't slouch, don't、yeah. slouch, don't slouch. Yeah, my mom helps me every every way. She all her verbal abuse not、yeah. works in my favor as a comedian. All the abuse. Yeah, this is, is good. That was the good thing about being a comedian, and continues to be the good thing. If bad things happen to you, it's just material. Exactly. That's the best thing. Other、want- people, other people, it's just bad. Yeah. For you, maybe you will benefit. <laughs> yes, it's, it's funny. It's all the things you can do. It's funny.、Like mm. Every time I break up with a guy, I'm like, oh、mm. my god, I finally can say this now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll be you'll be keeping back all the jokes just in yeah, case. Yeah, I'll have the jokes, and whenever like we finally break up, I'll be like, oh, oh there god, we go. Thank God, he's gone.、I'm、who? Like, uh, which ex boyfriend do you think you got the most material from? You don't need name names. Unfortunately, it's my ex-husband,、oh. but、uh, I don't talk about him as much because of I think it's better for my children. No, it's probably not. Good. I mean, I it's all like light jokes now about yeah, him, yeah. but like、uh, all of the guys like sort of went on dates with in college、mm. and、uh, briefly did a few guy after my husband. Those guys are、mm. weird. They are. Losers.、Uh, so where where do you go to find these people? I don't. I I I just.、Uh, I I mean, if I am really desperate, I can just、mm. go on dates every day. But、mm. I'm not. I was looking for somebody who's serious.、Mm. I went on this、uh, dating app called the League. The League. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard about the League. Disgusting. Yeah. So stupid. <laughs>、um, I mean, my my friend got me on it. Oh my god.、Those、Did you feel like, it? Yeah. What、well, What were the guys like on the league? One of the guy was sweet. He's a doctor at Kaiser. Hey, He's hey. very handsome. Told me.、Hey. Very tall. Very、yeah. beautiful. Oh, that's good. But the problem with him is that,、uh, um, I mean, doctors are so busy.、Mm. Like I'm a comedian. I just feel like he's not gonna not treat a cancer patient because I'm doing a show in Tennessee. You know? Yeah. Because his job is more important. Yeah, he's like literally people could die if I、yeah. if I leave here, and you're like, but you, I have jokes, I got bits. Yeah, you got to tell me whether the bits are funny. I know. So I just、uh, I, I thought he was really good. That's funny. He he was very very good, but I just、uh, knew that for me, I need a man who can actually be around me more. Yeah. Because.、Uh, You, I, you I, that's how we know each other. Yeah, you don't want other people's lives re- depending on you guys being apart. Yeah, because you can't apart help him. You can't be in a surgery and like telling b- jokes. Yeah, and then they're like literally they're knocked out. They're、mm-hmm. like getting surgery done. Yeah, and like you know you think you're killing it, but、mm-hmm. they they just can't hear it. Yeah, it wouldn't so work. So I saw the I saw the. He was he was a German American doctor, very mm, handsome, mm. very charming. Hey, but、uh, I think we both just kind of know like my schedule is getting so much more demanding, and、yeah. he can't be remote. Can't do he it. He can't be with me on the tour. That's the way to do it. So we we stop talking to each other.、Uh, but、uh, he was one of the good ones, you know. If I wasn't a comedian.、Mm. That could work if、that、I live in、work. LA. Yeah, we can just、uh, have a. He he loved life. He loved art. He was、yeah. great. He was very handsome. This yeah, I gotta yeah, find. But I'm、him. also like really realistic. I、yeah. I don't want to pretend it's gonna work out because yeah, yeah. if we don't see each other at、it's、all, we see each other once a month. Also, like, what what's the point? I like, have, I'm a single、point? mom. I have, have two a, children. Yeah, you have two kids. I have two kids, and、mm. I need a man. Who I can live work together. Yeah, which should be something we are doing together. We can be doing it together.、Mm. And build an empire together, like a power couple.、Yeah. You know. Like a power couple. You want to get to the point where like neither of you can be defeated because the other one would rescue you. Exactly. Or like destroy your enemy. I'm、together. all building an empire together. Yeah, you gotta、right? build the empire. You have to know each other, be together. So I knew that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and then the other guys like pretend to be rich guys, and I'm like,、mm-hmm. I don't. They try to like tell me how much money they have. I'm like, uh, 
not the Honey, I had a Bentley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, You're my like, car. I've seen it before. I've seen yeah, it before. My car what, what do you think home. of it, like, if, if, because especially this happens in Hollywood, if, like, people are like, I have a lot of money or I have a lot of followers, what does that do to you? You just Nothing. don't want to deal with this. I'm disgusted. Yeah. I'm disgusted by them. Oh. I like a nice person mm. who is kind, genial, with talent. Mm. That's, I think. That's hard to find. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like when people brag about how much money they have. Yeah, it's really. How I, much follower they have. There's like all sorts of crazy stuff. I, I got invited to a party once. It was like an influencer party, and you need to put your Instagram handle into the invite before they would even tell you where the party was. That's hilarious. And I was like, but the thing was, it's, it would be really funny if they were doing it on, like, they knew what they were doing, but they are unironically doing this. If it was ironic, it would be funny. Mm -hmm. If it was unironic, which it is, it's not funny at all. I'm like, who are these people here? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't, like, I don't want to go to the party anymore. <laughs> like, no. do with these people. But, so you're, all of this comes together in the sense that we give people maybe a little bit more of a, um, uh, you know, beginning, middle, end to your story here. So you started, you moved to uh, L.A. Mm -hmm. after you did college mm -hmm. in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, I had asked before, like, what, what did you like about Kentucky? Did you like Kentucky? Do you not like Kentucky? You're getting out of there. Do you like it? What do you think of Kentucky? Um, rolling hills, mm -hmm. beautiful scenery. The summer in the Red River Gorge mm -hmm. with all the flowers, beautiful. My... Uh, I think the first love of my life, oh, wow. Ilya, that's my first husband. We mm. were college sweethearts. We mm. spent a lot of time mm. in the nature. Mm. He's uh, more like a, he's a Russian-American guy. Mm. Uh, was born in Russia, went to America when he was four, so he's mm. more, not fresh of the boat. Mm. A scientist. Mm. Like a, you, can, you can't see yeah. him being with a scientist. Yeah, yeah. Imagine Joe Kong. <laughs> yeah. So he's, but he's, <laughs> he's just sweetest. You know, that's just, he's the sweetest. Yeah. And we, we, we enjoyed hiking, and the, I didn't. Mm. I just did whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know what to do, but I loved the nature. Just like walking but he up just like more crazy about the nature. Yeah, he loved everything about the nature. There's so. a really nice nature in that part of the country. Yeah, no, I know. It's we um, spent all time in the nature, and he took the most early photograph of me. Oh, really? As it, I could be object of a model, of a performer, of something. You, you were saying you never had a photograph taken of you? Like before? a real photo. Like oh, like an actual fo photo like shoot. Like me would be posing next thing, not oh, like okay. a, a family photo, yeah. a school photo in China. You yeah, know? yeah. So he just thought that was beautiful, and really? I never thought that way. But I met some model girl in Kentucky that I was, I was, I paint, so they need to mm -hmm. do some makeup with the butterfly on the face, and mm. I, I, I said, I can do it. I did it, mm. and I realized I can be a makeup artist. Mm. So I started doing makeup for the models, and then the models were like, you should be a model. I'm like, mm. what? Yeah. I'm ugly. <laughs> but then they, they want me to do it. I said, I don't want to do it. They're like, it's $500 for a shoot for Harley Davidson. I'm like, I'll be oh, there. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. I got and the Harley Davidson modeling. money. And so, like, don't slouch. You want five hundred dollars? Don't slouch. I'm like, no, I'll keep, slouch anymore. Remember. Anything for five hundred bucks. Anything for five hundred bucks. So I did that. I was like, okay, I'm hot now. So I started getting icon. Was it that fit? Is it that quick? You're just like, I'm hot now. I see I'm the photo. It. I'm like, that could be me. Mm. I mean, that was me. So the first mm. thing I, I put the hair mm -hmm. back, clip it back. I start squeezing lemon juice on my forehead with the, to kill the acne. Is that how I did all these techniques, man? I, I don't know. The acne was disgusting. So yeah. I'm like, oh, I'll do whatever it takes to remove. Could be bitches. worse. So I squeeze the lemon juice. It helps a little bit. Mm. I, I don't know. I just do whatever. I start yeah. showing it. I mm. don't stop picking on it. Mm. Then I removed my glasses. Mm. I become hot. Mm. I was wearing lenses. Then that's, I'm like, okay. Then you're like, oh, I'm, a, I'm a lens person now. Yeah, I'm like eye contact lenses. I, we, can be, we can be cute. So I stop slouching. I go to the gym now. Yeah. So I start hitting the gym and I realize I'm hot. Mm. And then I, that's how I that's how, there was start like, to try to was tell it, Was there one moment where it just like flipped? Oh yeah. yeah, we were. I was a math tutor in Kentucky. Mm. Mm. So, I remember I was tutoring. I just tutored people's homework, mm. and you know we have a great basketball team, mm -hmm. yeah, Kentucky yeah, basketball UK, team, yeah. UK. And then this one of the one of the basketball team guy, mm -hmm. me, a big star now. Yeah. Not saying his name. Yeah. It wasn't Anthony Davis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody else. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Uh, so. He, I don't know. I was doing, uh, doing their homework because there's another girl, mm -hmm. that's a Chinese girl, mm -hmm. a rich girl who mm -hmm. has daddy's money. Mm -hmm. She drives a Beamer and mm -hmm. she, white deep Beamer. She's so pretty. You know, the Chinese pretty. She's <laughs> yeah, skinny yeah. like this yeah. chopstick. Bai Fu Mei. Bai Fu Mei. Skinny. Mm -hmm. That's how skinny she is. Yeah, yeah. Skinny. And she has uh, like a really small V-shaped face, mm -hmm. you know, Fan Bingbing yeah. face. Yeah. And then she's yeah, so, big so eye, pretty. Small big face. eye, tall nose. What's your WeChat? Small lips, cherry lips. <laughs> and she's so pretty. And, uh, uh, so the, the, the basketball star be like, hey, uh, we are celebrating, uh, you know, their party mm. without to invite you. Mm. He was saying that to me. Mm. 
I didn't even look at him. I was like, it can't be me. Yeah, because I could. Like, it's not me. And then, and then. He's like, hello, hello, Chinese girl. Yeah. I said, me? He goes, yeah, I want you to be at the party. What, what's your number? Can I have your number? Mm. I'm like, oh. I was still shocked. <laughs> my, my friend, the yeah. white girl, the yeah. white Chinese girl. Yeah. She's like, excuse me, uh, I, do you mean to ask my number? Yeah, she's like, are, are you um, asking my number? You got a lazy eye or something? Yeah. You're looking in the wrong direction. Like, you, I think you're looking here. You're looking over there. Yeah. She's like, do you mean my number? He's like, no, I want her number. I was like, you want my number, not her number? She's the hot one. He's like, no, 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 I don't want her number. I want your number. But she can be your plus one. Oh, that was, well, that was very nice of him. This girl. <laughs> she probably freaked out. She freaked out, Jesse. She freaked, you are the only person Lost in the history can understand this. <laughs> she stood up, she's like, uh, excuse me, yeah. you are asking her number, yeah. not my number? I just want to know that in China, I'm prettier than her because her skin's too dark. That was what I was going to say. It's like, you know, that's not too dark. To a black guy. She said Yeah, do a black <laughs> yeah, and then he's like, what are you? Oh, then he started laughing. He's like, oh my God, God <laughs> damn it. That's the funniest I've ever heard. You get a 10, vampire. <laughs> so that's, like, he started laughing like, like I'm really hot. Like it's yeah, a yeah. joke. It's like somebody calling Holly Berry ugly. That's it's so like funny. using Holly Berry as ugly. You have yeah. a lazy eye. Yeah. So <laughs> he's laughing because when she told him that uh, I am not pretty, she's a pretty one that's because funny. I'm too dark. There you so go. that's the moment I'm like, you know what? Hey, if, you, hey, if you're, not... especially in college, if those college basketball players, that's mm -hmm. like, that's the, that's the top of the that's top. This is the validation. So you get that that's confidence. Check mark. You show up in LA, and then, um, yeah, LA, it's a lot about confidence. It's like, it's not just LA, but it's just like the entirety of like performing. You mm -hmm. know, like no one wants to see someone on stage. It's like, eh, I'm not actually like excited to be here. You know Oh, what I mean? you have to come on the stage. I mean, mm -hmm. You got to do it mm. in Chinese. You know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have to do the harder way. Mm. It's it's just a million times harder because our mind has to be even faster to mm. be able to channel the funny in a second language. Mm. It's just really difficult. You need to really because you were be not thinking. you were yeah. not born by the English. Yeah, yeah, you were yeah. not born with. No. Okay, I learned yeah, yeah. English when I was eighteen. Yeah, yeah. We have the same path, right? You do you to... feel? Do you feel like you have an advantage over the over the native speakers, uh, in the sense that like? Because you know you have to earn it, you actually fight harder. I work harder. Yeah. I bought my own club. I commit. Yeah. Like I commit to, I commit to men, mm -hmm. career, and my family. Like I, I commit. I'm it's a very hardcore. traditional Chinese woman. I'm, I'm a communist. If you're uh, gonna queen. do it, yeah, queen. Yeah, I believe in um, commit, <laughs> commitment. Commitment. I give All for it. Do you have a five-year plan? Oh yeah, I oh, have a yeah. five months plan, five year plan. There My five go. year plan, uh, I can accomplish it in six months. So now I need to write There we one. go. Well, that's high salary. You take all that. You're gonna salary go. Yeah, salary go. Yeah. I I don't complain. <laughs> you I just work. go out and get it. I work. Well, hard. that was one thing that I saw because I I performed at your club, the Hollywood Comedy, and um, it reminded me a lot in many ways of the club that I had put together in China, which is like at the time in Beijing, if you wanted to do like stand up, like real stand up there was really nowhere to do it because you could perform in like a bar, mm -hmm. but then they would be like playing music in the back mm -hmm. and they would have like people coming in and out of the, the ball gym. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I want to just do stand-up. I wanted to be in a, like a stand-up club, but there were no comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. And there were xiangsheng, like tea houses, mm -hmm. but they were all like Shu. They had their own thing going. It wasn't mm -hmm. like you could book them. Mm -hmm. So I rented a courtyard and I turned it into a small comedy club and that was the beginning of, of like trying to be able to do what I wanted to do with the stand-up. And so you kind of did the opposite here mm -hmm. where you're like, you know, and Hollywood is actually much harder because it's hard to get stage time here. Very hard. It's very hard to like, and, and without stage time as a comedian, you can't like practice. You can't so you, get better. You literally can't get better. And so it's like, you know, the, but a lot of comedians don't want to do the work of actually hustling together the whole show. Mm -hmm. So they kind of just like complain. Mm -hmm. um, but you aren't going to do that. You, I don't complain. How did you How did you think to like, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to open my own comedy club. So when I auditioned for John Singleton, mm. he did Boys in the Hood, mm -hmm. a TV show he did. Mm -hmm. Rebel is a TV mm -hmm. show about a black girl who's a cop, had mm -hmm. a Chinese sidekick. It's rush hour on a low budget. Yeah, <laughs> low budget rush hour. Uh -huh. And I, uh, he, um, he asked me to improv. Yeah. And I started improvising. Mm -hmm. And they were across the table with me, the, the mm -hmm. casting people. He stood up. Mm -hmm. Start laughing, he stood up, he walked over to me with his yeah. phone playing Ali Wan's Baby Cobra. He said, oh, yeah. you should do stand up, you're gonna be a big star. Yeah. I'm like, really? oh my god, me? <laughs> do I have the job now? Do I have the job now? Yeah, he goes, yeah. hell no. Yeah, yeah, he's like, no, not, no. not for us. You, <laughs> no, should, no. you should do that. Get out of here. Get out. Go there. Get out.
out. But like, you know, that's that's kind of. He that's got my actually, phone number though. Oh yeah. Okay. And so, he texted me the next day. He's like, "Do you want to have tea with me at I, Playa Vista in this?" Um, I remember that uh, Cafe del Rey, mm. and uh, that's where he lives. His boat is there. Mm. We went there. He said, "I'm serious. Mm. I'll be here for you. I'll, mm. I'll, 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 I'll support you. I'll do whatever. I'll make phone calls. But you have to do something for me. You're gonna go to the open mic first. Mm. You go do it from open mic." I didn't do it mm. because I felt that uh, he just wanted to feel bad. He rejected me, mm. and he wanted me to feel better about uh, my failures. I knew because if I cannot uh, book a job memorizing the. F-ing, Pages and pages of a dialogue somebody else written mm. for me, just be a f-ing vessel to say it. Mm. How can I How be on you? stage write my own joke, yeah, it is performing different. my second language? Like this is not even possible. Mm. I didn't. I just did not know I can do it because there's no stand up in China. You mm. and Joe Wang are the first people who really. There were. There's not a lot of. It's, it's very very recent. Before, before yeah. you guys were doing it, we don't have we have Xiang Sheng, but it's different art form. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know I can do it. And so I uh, went back to China. I hosted the Shanghai Film Festival. There's, we have a, a um, Danyuan is foreign films. Mm, yeah. I was hosting it and because I am bilingual. Mm. And uh, that's where I met my ex-husband. Mm. And then he was very charming. We fell in love. He's very rich, very, very handsome and crazy about me. And he impressed all my friends, taking them to his yacht. Oh, that's it. That's a, that's a big play. And also like the Shanghai, there's like a, a restaurant. Uh, it's 2,000 dollars per person. Hey. He yeah, took 20 people there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? All my friends tell me I should date him. Yeah, yeah. Because they want his teammates. Yeah, they yeah. want to be his friends. They they were they were benefiting from like pimping you know, me getting, out. Yeah, him. Yeah, pimping you out. Mm-hmm. So that was. Uh, yeah, and he at the beginning he was amazing. He uh, said, uh, you know what? You are not. You are not. You are my girlfriend. You are not auditioning for those assholes. I'm gonna spend five million dollars buy your movie. Hey, take it home. He did it. He did it. Yeah, but the problem is that the the, the, the TV show he invested in the the lead role. You know. Yeah. Since I wasn't famous, so yeah. they want me to look at the part, yeah. which I had to be pretty. Yeah. Which this is not pretty. I need to lose twenty pounds. You, you can't to, get sucked into this. I, I was bleaching my skin. Can't they want me to stuck. bleach my skin. You can't get. And sucked I bleached one session, and then I I also had, can't eat. I was eating spinach, so I almost fainted on set. I said I don't remember my lines. They were like, oh, don't worry, we this have voice over. This is why you got to do voice over. You got to do voice over for your own lines. That's yeah. really goddamn annoying. Do I'm you, like a no. You get no, no, no. And this is the good thing about being a comedian. It's like. If you're a comedian, you get to do it your way. Mm-hmm. Like that's the best part. Like you know, people are like, "Oh, you should be like this." No, because it, it it doesn't matter. No one's advice about your comedy is ever good advice. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know. Have you noticed? Everybody tells you, "I know you should do this. You should do this." It's always horrible. <laughs> yes, I'm getting the IV skin, uh, like basic skin bleaching IV, eating spinach, getting on set and fainting. And yeah. then they also like, "Can you can you get Botox on your cheeks? Because your cheeks are too big. It's taking over the camera." I'm- God, it's taking so over they, the camera. So they did my hair like this, Jesse. That's they good. did my hair like this, and they used the hair yeah. tie to tie like this, so it can be more V shaped. Oh, yo. And then they were, I wear like a turtleneck, so I look like this. Yeah, I was so I make like, it clear. Tea time with Jesse has no restrictions on the size or shape of the faces. Yeah, the bigger the, the better. Big face, Small face is good. Big face is good. Okay, whatever you have. You it. need as long as you have a face, so you can drink tea. <laughs> that's all it is. Yes. Now we're gonna we're gonna have some people yell at us because some people don't have heads. Uh-oh. But like, you know, but they, no, the, <laughs> we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and I just decided I said that I was the, the girl who was bullied for having darker skin. If I become successful as an artist, I don't want to be like the less skin. I don't want to lie to them. I want them to be okay with what they That's look the like. thing. That was the thing. That's the thing I'm struggling with here. So it's I like, left. Yeah. You, you just can't. You, I said, I can't, can't do it. Can't so do they found somebody else. My ex husband was so angry at me, but I'm like, I can't do this. I have to be authentic to my voice. Yeah. That's what I look like. I want the girls who look like this and feel good. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, I have to bleach and lose weight. No. No. Be whatever you are. Yeah. So that's why I went back also, to America. Also, like, yeah, it's like you can't. In the long term, like, how are you going to beat other people trying to pretend to be them when you're not actually them? Exactly. It's not going to yeah, work. Yeah, just be you. So I come back to America. I still have nothing. Mm. I uh, I just had a baby. Mm. I got fat. And uh, I I text John. I said, I'm doing open mic now. Mm. He said, do it. And let me, what do you think? Let me know what you think. So I started open micing. I realized mm. there's no stage time. You sit mm. for three hours for a lottery mic. It's yeah. not even worth it. Yeah. So I decided to buy my club. The first month I started, I'm like, no. I need 10,000 hours. Who should I f- to get 10,000 hours. <laughs> like, I should myself. That, that, buy, there we go. Yeah, that, you I put that on the shirt. Yeah. yeah, put that on the shirt. Yeah. That's inspirational, people. Yeah, I, I, I 
myself to get this comedy club on Melrose. It's a small black box theater that seats 40 people, and that's where I started. I was the but that's a great host, place. The owner, the but, toilet, the cleaning but, lady, yeah. everything. Yeah, it's you got to do it all yourself. It's a great, it's a great venue. She goes see the shows. There's a lot of mics there mm -hmm. now, a lot of shows. Lady Mike. And and the cool thing about the stand up is like, and I remember I had this moment when I did my first like big, we'll say like big stand up show in China, mm -hmm. where I was like. These are the same jokes I'm doing at that 30, 40 person mic. And now I'm doing them on TV and I'm like, oh, like if you can do it for 30 people, you can do it for 500. Oh, yeah. It's oh, actually yeah. easier to do it for 500 than it is for also, 30. Also people like us, we are poor yeah. performance. The more people, the better. Yeah. We, I like there to be more, obviously, but you don't need it to make good comedy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you, if like, you can't kill 20 you need room, it, you, you, need can, it, yeah. you can't do it. You need to make money, but yeah. you don't need it to actually get good at the Intimate thing. room is good. Yeah. Because you say things that normally you don't say. And if you're, it's your club, it's probably the same as it was. You hosted a lot, probably, Oh, right? I was uh, the open mic host. I hosted 10 hours a day. Yeah, that's nuts. 10 hours a 10 day. 10 hours. Did you have, like, so you, you were just doing mic after mic after mic yeah. during the day? Nobody was hosting. I was the only host. Before I hired anybody, I decided to do it to, to see how to run this place. Yeah. So I was hosting every single day. Every single mic, I was a host. Mm. And I work on my jokes. I bring you up. And for the first weeks, I, my mic was free because mm. it's new. Yeah. I'm being Chinese, like, it's free. Yeah, yeah. Just, just free. come here. Just come so here. I can be on stage and talk about Well, you need audience. Yeah, yeah, so it was free. Then we become popular, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I just really paid my dues. People don't understand it. They think I blew up so fast, but they don't understand it. I bought it's, my it, own club. No, and it's like, it is like that. It's like, you know, you need the stage time, but a lot of people think it takes five, six, seven, eight, nine years because they're doing five minutes a night and then they don't have a second show. Yeah, they do, one, they, do, they do one show a month. Yeah. I and, do 10 shows a day. Yeah, and so it's like, you will get better doing you will. it that way. You, yes, you keep bombing and you get better. That was just, the, that was I bombed the, in private. Yeah. So I, I, I thrive in, in <laughs> you, public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You bomb, yeah, but again, you put it on a shirt. You gotta have your own line of shirt. I bomb in public. I bomb in private, private so, so I can, thrive, I can thrive, in thrive, in thrive in public. That's amazing, That's pretty good. Jesse. That's a good shirt. Dustin, that's a you good one, right? You said it. You said yeah, it right Dustin. now. Dustin. You're just looking over at Dustin like, write that down. Dustin, that. please. <laughs> I bomb in private so I can thrive in public. Yeah, very good. It's that's good. There we go. You got, one, like, you got one good t-shirt idea that's out of this nice podcast. You'll yeah. have two or three by the end. It's not surprising to me that you're doing well in comedy because I think people hit two problems with language. One, they're not willing to even speak. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing is that sometimes you have people who are willing to speak, but they're not really being themselves mm -hmm. in the second language. I think so because everybody I love, they left me, so I have nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah, nothing like, to you lose. know what? That's what I got. You want to leave? F you. Yeah, yeah. And that energy is the sort of thing that's going to drive you through that, that hard stuff mm -hmm. because there's two types of people that make it in, in performance. One is the people that have enough money, they can just kind of like keep doing it slowly forever and eventually they just know everybody and they're okay. And the second type are the people who like have everything to lose. Mm -hmm. They've staked it all. This is the, I, I can dance, that's the only thing I can do. I have no backup plan. Mm -hmm. So what has yeah. it been like sort of seeing both the social media followers going up and getting into bigger clubs and being able to do your own shows and headlining it. What has that really changed in the way that you've like looked at things? I think my work has that uh, with my uh, people skill, mm. both help me. Mm -hmm. Because I am very grateful. If you help me, mm -hmm. I'll be grateful. Mm. A lot of people in the business as an artist, they are very spacey. Mm. Somebody literally launched their career. Yeah. They don't even talk to them anymore. Mm. Those people lose mm. in the long run because there's a lot of talents. If I helped you, you don't have to suck my <laughs> but like I want you to at least say hi or during the holidays send a card or yeah. just you know just this shows uh, when, when you are nice in public it, yeah. uh, when you talk about your journey mention my name. Yeah. You know you don't have to be like oh just mention like I talk about John Singleton because he yeah. was there for me. Yeah. He told me like nobody sometimes he help people whose big stars are like, they don't talk about. They just like oh I'm, I guess I woke up I decided that something mm. I don't I don't do that if you help me that appreciation goes a long way yeah. like because it's like I think also especially when you get to a point in life where you're like I, I want to help people mm -hmm. you, like if you want to be able to help people really all you're asking for is just for a thank you open the door yeah, yeah. open well, the thank door you. also like it's like if for the people who are actually going to run and do it like he can open the door he can't write your jokes no it has to be you doing exactly. the work. 
So it's like, it's actually kind of easy for people to, it's a lot easier than people might think to say, let me help you out, let me help you out. But you have to be the person who's going to like run through the wall. Yeah. So that when you do succeed on the other end of it, you can say, oh, thank you so much. You know, mm -hmm. that was a big deal. Yeah. I mean, that's why I always like, even now, like, you know, I always tell people I, it's hard in Hollywood, but in China, I always still, first introduction, who are you? I say, I'm, I'm Ding Guang Quan, the Tu Di. Mm -hmm. I'm Master Ding's uh, disciple. Mm -hmm. Master Ding gave me this fan. It's gorgeous. Yeah. By Shi Liu Nian. Oh, that's the best Shi Ding Guan Quan. So this mm. is my when I apprenticed to Master Ding, he wrote this calligraphy himself. Oh, beautiful. Nong Yue Chao Feng. The um uh so Nong Yue is like you know joke the moon and satirize the wind. Mm -hmm. The idea is a comedian you want to be able to talk about everything. Yeah, Feng Yue. Feng Yue. Yeah, Feng Yue. Zhi Jian. Those are the So beautiful. Um, yes, Jesse. I really felt like you know mm -hmm. uh, it goes a long way to show your appreciation. Like for example, like I I'm some people who who kind of. Uh, Encouraged me even. I always mm. remember the uh, act of kindness because uh, the world is very cruel. Mm. And uh, um, one of the, I, I don't want to be a, <laughs> but I think I'm very smart. I don't. You I, can be smart without being a. I mean, I, I, I'm, 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 people, people just don't respect my intelligence because I have an accent. Yeah. They were like, "Oh, she's a massage whore." Yeah. I wish I can be out to make more money, but yeah. I'm not. <laughs> That's the easy money. You yeah. got the hard money. Yeah. No, the so, comedy money is never the easy oh, money. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> so I, I, I'm actually very intelligent. Bitches, oh, yeah. don't try to fuck with me. You are gonna get. You are gonna get. You're gonna get you're, wrecked. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. And it's yeah. gonna be painful I'll and embarrassing. Your asshole. Don't the whole try. time, bitches. Don't try it's to undermine my intelligence. It's gonna be bad. Uh, I, I. Just, uh, I'm smart because I realize that because I rise so fast in mm. Los Angeles, mm. doesn't matter what I'm doing. Mm. Like I can, I can be a regular at Love Factory. Mm. I, but it just you got to like, figure out. You're at a point where actually, like a lot of people here, they chase what they think they're supposed to want. But they, but like, but then if you actually get to a point where you start to get stuff, then you actually need to realize, like, oh, I need to actually know what I want. Mm -hmm. I can't just like blindly do stuff. And that was one of the things that I saw in in China was like you would have people that they're like, I want to be on this big show and then they'd get it and then they basically just work for a talent company mm -hmm. and then they just do KFC commercials. And they mm -hmm. like, and that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, good, get your money. Yeah, KFC, fantastic right? chicken. But yeah. like the reason it stops and then eventually usually it kind of like peters out is because they, they mistook the, you know, they say, oh, if I, want to be a, if I want to be a comedian, I want to be a regular at the Laugh Factory or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and they forget that, like, well, the point of it is not just to show up at a room every day. No. You know, you mm -hmm. have to have a reason why you want to get there. Yeah. So what was, for you, for the comedy, what's the reason that you want to get there, that you can say, yes, I want that opportunity, I don't want that opportunity? I think it was very funny. Um, uh, my first month doing open mic, when I was uh, on my knees cleaning the bathroom, because I said, my mom always tell me, mm. you open a place, yeah. The cleanest place should be the toilet. You should be able to drink that water. <laughs> That's how clean that should be. That's your mom's like, opening a comedy club 101, according well, to we, your mom. We, we grew up in a restaurant, yeah. so I, she, oh, she's okay. a business owner, yeah. so, so I know knows. business. Yeah. So I always want to make sure things are, because the comedy clubs are disgusting, you yeah. know. So I want to make sure everything's clean and nice. I was in the to uh, bathroom cleaning the toilet. I was just uh, looking to myself in the mirror. It was like my first month. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. I want to be the first Chinese comedian to ever play the Apollo Theater, to headline, to mm. do one hour and get a standing ovation. And then, you're like, and then they're like, that's the goal. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, I did it in four years. Four years. So you, you had an extra year on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's was, amazing, man. Uh, so that happened. And to that moment, um, I, 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 every the day. Apollo. The Apollo. Cheers. So that was a goal and the impossible. The only woman who did it was uh, Phyllis Diller. She mm. did uh, uh, Carnegie Hall in six years. Mm. She she performed at Carnegie wow. Hall six years in comedy. What was it? What was it like performing at the Apollo? It was uh, it was such a battle. I fought hard for it. Mm -hmm. If I have another, if I do it again, I won't do it. Mm -hmm. I guess I will still do it because yeah. I'm, I'm me. But it was so difficult was in every hard. single way. I did not get any sponsors. Mm. I had a ticket link very late. They didn't mm. give me until two months before the show. It's 1,600 people. Yeah, that's a and lot of tickets you to are, sell. You are going to do it. If you are doing the Apollo, you better sell the bitch out. Mm -hmm. Or don't do it. Mm -hmm. So I need to put the plug or do it. Yeah. So I decided to do it. And uh, But that's a rough, that's a hard way to do it. That was not the easy I way. Made it happen. You made and it happen. I got happen, a standing though. ovation. I got all of the important people there. There we go. And Rosario Dawson came with her mask to nice. support me because she's the queen of East Village. Nice. You know, she came. Mm. It was beautiful. It was amazing. But I think because I want to do that in five years, so every single day, 
I work towards that. Mm. Is that uh, if I do one open mic, that's not enough. I do mm. 10. I get home, I still write more. Then I tape a little joke on camera for TikTok. Mm. That was uh, right before pandemic. And uh, when, when I closed my club, there's a pandemic, I have a choice. My ex-husband is like, I'm not paying for this. Mm -hmm. Because you are not funny, you don't speak English, you're not doing this. <laughs> so I remember driving to the real real mm. on La Cienega to mm. sell my Birkin bags. Mm. So I can keep the club alive. Mm. So I sold the five Birkin bags to be paying the rent. There we go. That's that's, <laughs> that's the real enough. that's the real joke. So if you're ever th sitting in a comedy club, people think like, oh, a comedy club make money. Comedy clubs a horrible business. No, you don't. Mean it's that a horrible either. business. I, I, and I say this as somebody who loves comedy clubs. Um, yeah, you know, I didn't have any Birkin bags to sell, but we did make a little bit of money from the from the the tickets and stuff like that. It, but it was it's not it's not an easy business. And no, so it's very hard. You were like so you were you were in, mm -hmm. and so do you feel like. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't have rather sold those bags, but like, do you feel like making the sale and you're like, I sold it, I'm in, you know, I'm mm -hmm. committed. Yeah, I didn't Does, care about the bags. That you didn't care about the bags. I'll sell my kids if I had to. I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. I'm yeah. doing that so I can give them a good yeah. life. That is good, yeah. So I sold the bags and I realized that I would never get respect in Los Angeles mm. because people see me starting up here. Mm. People remember it was yesterday I was open micing. Mm -hmm. They don't believe because nobody has ever done this. Nobody mm. has becoming a national headliner in mm. two years, three mm -hmm. years. You, you don't, that's not you the way don't it works. sell tickets. But, but also the world is different now yeah. and that's because of the internet. Like yeah, I came here, it's like part of the reason I haven't been going to as many shows I thought I would is because when I first got here, I hit up the mics, I saw what you were saying, I'll drive all around town for three minutes maybe. Um, and I had been a professional You should call me. I should have called you just earlier. Just do Jesse's a show. I should do a show. We should get a regular show at the, the, uh, the Hollywood Comedy. Yes, can you going. make sure that we gotta, you gotta get a, We gotta get people here. If you're Listen, in the LA area, you know, you, you gotta sure come out. Can you make sure he get his show at the club? We should do some shows. That would be a yeah, lot of fun. Like for sure. Really. Like it's, you have your show. You just have your show. You book people you want to showcase. Yeah. You highline. It would be like fun. It's like a, I gotta meet more people, and so you well, you can you can be on it. Yeah, <laughs> we got, yeah. and we do. I do have a couple friends of mine that we're we're gonna be trying to put together some Chinese shows. We as have well. to. That'll That's what we're trying to do uh, yeah. to um, bring bring the Chinese Mandarin stand up in the LA comedy. Scene. We gotta get it going. We don't have people. it. They have it in Seattle. They have it in San Francisco. They have it in I mean, yeah, LA. This, LA is like the York, one place without it. But we're, we're let's take a quick break. Okay. We'll switch tees and yeah. we'll get back and talk about a bunch more stuff. Yes. I'm Jesse. Perfect, Zhao Yun Summer, so and happy to be here. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're enjoying this uh, new format that we have of showing you guys the whole podcast. And also hopefully enjoying Zhao Yun, she's hilarious. Had a great time talking with her. If you made it to this point in the middle, just a reminder that we do have the whole episodes on audio as well. If you follow the audio podcast, just search Tea Time with Jesse wherever you can find podcasts. And also, if you want to get 10% off your order, you can use the phrase Jiao Ying Pod. That's the code Jiao Ying Pod. Uh, that you can put into the order when you go and check out, and that'll get you 10% off your order. So going back to the rest of the episode with Jiao Ying, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tea Time with Jesse. I'm here today with Jiao Ying Summers. Hi, guys. We're going to do second half of the show today. We're drinking uh, Ai Jie's Ri Chang Hong Cha, Gu Shu Hong Cha. So this is, um, Ai Jie is a, a tea farmer that I work with in Yunnan. Mm -hmm. And so she has this beautiful tea mountain you, you fly to Kunming and then take a seven hour. Kunming's the best. Yeah. My friend is in Kunming. Kunming's great. Oh, beautiful. Kunming is a beautiful city. Mm -hmm. Kunming's the capital of Yunnan. And um, Yunnan is where all the puar comes from. And so this is ancient tree tea that it could have been turned into puar, but instead they put it into red tea. Mm. Um, and this is her everyday tea. Um, this is the, the tea trees are only 200 years old. They have some that are 1,000. Um, but the only 200 year old tea trees are also pretty nice. You can see the uh, really, really nice. Uh, Teas over there on the tea cake. There we go. Tear off a little bit. And that's going to be tea for the second half of the show. So <clears throat> as we make this tea, uh, I want to ask, what do you think of the uh, the green tea that we just had? Was oh, good? the green tea was very good. It's just a very, like a very, I had a, um, I had a cream barbecue for lunch. Oh, yeah. So it's a little heavy. Yeah. I did not have any car carbs, so mm. I don't eat rice mm. because it's a, Mm. A trauma from my marriage. My ex didn't <laughs> want me to eat rice so I don't get fat. Yeah. So I, I don't eat rice when I'm not hungry, which is good. That's yeah. what helped me. But well, if I, you're not it's, hungry, it's, it is I feel healthy. like a little greasy and stuff. But so like the green tea we just had yeah, at the Jesse Tea House <laughs> is so good. So refreshing. It kind of, uh, I think it, it can really help uh, you digest. It's clean the you. oily thing from your... Yeah. Stomach, so it was the perfect thing to and, drink right after yeah. a cream barbecue. And no sugar, which is no nice, sugar, loved it, which is good. I'm I'm not generally particularly healthy with my eating habits, which is a problem. But the tea is very healthy. If you ever want help, I can yeah. text you bullying things. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. 
Oh my god. I gotta hire oh, your mom. your your mother to yell at me. Oh. She's gonna charge extra. She's, oh, yeah. <laughs> she's an extra. She's like, she's a big Hollywood herself. I, I, I don't I don't know, Jesse. I don't, I don't well, first of all, she's gonna love you because yeah. she loves boys and you yeah. speak Chinese. She's oh, yeah. gonna try to feed you every day. That's good. Tell me why I can't grow a dick and can be <laughs> can be Jewish man. There we go. Pour on the thing. Oh, we were gonna do a tea pet game. The ta tong. Okay, so here's uh first of all, pick whichever uh, tea pet you would like to pour on. Let me give mine to I want the fat one. Oh yeah, you want the fat go ahead. Fat horse. Go ahead. Horse. So I'm so we're gonna play a little game. These are my four tea pets that we have on here. I'm not gonna tell you what they're called. I want mm -hmm. you to give each of them a name. So uh -huh. first, firstly, this guy. What do you name him? Uh, Xiao Fei Ma. Xiao Fei Ma. Yeah, it's actually that's not that far from what I named him. His name is Chonky Horse. Chonky Horse. He's Chonky Horse. So that's because he's so chonky. Yeah, he's so, so it's like a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. And then here's Should I another. Speak English or Chinese? It's whatever you want. It's whatever name you want. Cutie Bambi. Cutie Bambi. Okay, this is uh, Xander for me. Cutie Bambi is a good name. That's cute. And then here we go. Big guy. F fluffy goat. <laughs> His name is Fluffy. Yeah, yeah fluffy. there we go. And then uh, here we go. Last one over here. Oh, sweet bunny. Sweet bunny. This uh, Lucky. Like there you go. So yeah, the um, so you did you did you have a bunch of tea when you were in China? Were you a tea yes. person? Yes. Yes. I love the tea when I was happy. Mm -hmm. And then what, what kind of, uh, where, where, so Henan, what kind of tea do people drink in Henan province? I think we like tea from Yunnan. Yunnan, yeah. yeah. Everybody likes tea from Yunnan. I yeah. like poor. Yep. Yeah, I like green tea. I like a good um, um, Hangzhou, Lü Cha, mm, yeah. Hangzhou. Oh, I, Henan, okay, perfect. I, have, I can ask somebody about this. Mm -hmm. So when I went and do shows in China, one of the funny things is that like, I had to learn all of the stereotypes oh, that yeah. Chinese people have for each other. Yeah, they and don't so, like us. They, no, they don't like the Henan. And Henan the, for whatever reason, this was the, the, the stereotype I always heard, is that the Henan Tojin Gar. They, <laughs> they steal the manhole covers from the street and, uh, and, they're like, and sell them for pig iron. And, oh my god. And I was like, you've heard this before though, right? I mean, because they are poor, so they steal <laughs> things, but it's like, uh, we have bad people from every province. Oh yeah, So no. they blame everything on us. We, I know, like, they, they call us uh, thieves, you know? Yeah, but because this made no sense to me though, because I was <laughs> like, I was like, first of all, if they're in your province stealing the Jingar, does that mean there are no manhole covers in the entirety of Henan? Like they ran out and then they <laughs> had to go to your province to steal the manhole covers? It didn't make any sense. It, but it's so specific yeah. that I'm like, it had to have at what least happened once. What else does they steal? How about your yeah. wife is <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be anything. You never know. You never so know. Funny. So are the Hunan Ren really stealing manhole covers? I don't think all of them do. Like 1% <laughs> of the population, maybe. <laughs> it's like cliche of black people, Asian people, Mexican people. Yeah. Uh, but it's not true because we all have good people. Yeah. We all have bad people from every skin color, every yep. province, everything. True so, that. Yeah. To, to good people and good bad people. Good people and the unity. There we go. Mmm. They good? Mmm. That good, right? That's different. That's mm. good. So this is the gu shu. Like it's not um, too good. Yeah. Mm. So this has, um, it's red tea. So in the West, what they call black tea, the Chinese call hong cha, red tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, I always recommend this is like for people that maybe they like the Earl Grey or the English breakfast or whatever, but they want to mm. have a higher quality mm. tea. Wow. Mm. It's got that interesting scent, right? Mm. How would you describe this one? Mm. This tastes oh. like... A Sex with a mistress. <laughs> so the first one was the virgin. Yeah. This is the mistress. The first one was about uh, Hua Yuan Yue Mei, beautiful, nice, pure. This one is just like a wild, uh, yeah. exciting, <laughs> accelerating. We gotta, we gotta get you to do ads for the tea. You I sell a lot of tea. I know. I'll be selling. Oh, yeah. I know. We gotta get the, uh, we gotta get the Jesse's Tea House. Uh, yeah. You know, Tiger, Tiger Milf, got Tiger on, the, on your podcast. Tiger Milf we, Tea. We should get on your podcast. I should listen to some tea from you. Mm. I should. That'd be a good thing. The um, mm. so, so uh, other than so the Hunan are there a lot of Hunan in Hollywood? You have any idea? No, <laughs> not many. Not many. We uh, we kind of just uh, don't come here. I mean, yeah. we, we, we do things that actually make money, so we yeah. don't you know, yeah. get abused by yeah. Americans. Yeah. So when you, what were the things that when you were like, okay, you're trying to figure out like um, uh, uh, American culture when you came here? What were the things where you're like most surprised about the way life actually was in America? Mm, when I was in college, mm. I think uh, I uh, I did not understand that they tip the waiter. Mm. I think that they are insulting them. 
is money. <laughs> you're insulting them with money. Yeah. You thought it was like, oh, you're so poor. I yeah, need to I feel give bad you money. for you. Let me give you a tip. <laughs> well, I was yeah, like, ew. I'll, yeah. <laughs> people should be equal. Mm. So you guys have equal rights here. Mm. So then I become a waiter. I'm like, why don't you tip me, you f***? It shifted quick. Very fast. And I was because they don't pay you shit as a waiter. Yeah. No, waiters, waiters. That's the thing is like, you know, waiters do need that tip. They also, do. But it's also because they wrote all these crazy laws. Like the waiter, they allow people to pay the wait staff under minimum wage because mm -hmm. they know they're going to get tips, which like you can't do that any other place. No. The only place you get paid less is in a comedy club. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, no, we, we, drink we, tickets. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, you want drink tickets or we'll, free parking. And people, oh free my God. Oh you'll my pay God. for my parking? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, this is like the, um, cause it's hard to get up and, um, like, I guess there's a question. It's like when I see the way that you do things, I really respect the, the drive. You just run it. Everybody say that about me. Bobby yeah. Lee is like, a, she's like, yeah. you just don't stop. You work so hard. And all You're my rare. friends, all my yeah. friends just like crazy, kind of amused by how much well, I work. Well, because I'm wondering the question is, I honestly think it's part of it's like China. I didn't grow I think up so. in China, it's been a but I, woman. I, lived, I lived in China for 10 years and like, there's just everybody's running at a higher speed. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a kill or to be killed. You know, like mm. it's winning or lose. It's yeah. a, and there's no second place. Yeah. In, in my the way I grew up, there's no second place. Mm. My mom would say the winner writes the history. Yeah. You the have winner to does win write the history. Or second place, there's second place is a loser. I think so. Every and second place fail. Don't listen to this. This is toxic Chinese mom thing. Yeah, yeah. It, only listen with caution. Yeah. Listen. Don't take it literally. There's something in there, but reference. don't listen to as it. As a reference. <laughs> yeah. It's not, I'm not saying it to you. You don't need this. You deserve better. Yeah. So I, no, there's no second place. But, there's, second place, you're, but this was a problem. It was like, this was, I would be like, I was like back when I was doing shows in China, we would be talking with the other comedians on like WeChat at 1130 at night. And I was like, oh, everybody's unhealthy in the same way I'm unhealthy. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was unhealthy because it, this is not the way things work in America. Like you saw the, the strikes with the, uh, with the writers guilds and everything mm -hmm. like that. They don't want to live like that, which makes sense. But then when you take that energy and then put it back into America, like you can just run over people. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I run people over with my work, 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 how do I say, work? Work ethic. Work ethic. Yeah. Work ethic. Work ethic. 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 Yes. Work ethic. Sure I, I don't I don't complain. Mm. Whenever like I don't get uh, something, mm. I always look internally. Yeah. I always say that the reason I didn't get it is not because I'm a woman. It's not because mm. I'm uh, yellow Chinese mm. or an immigrant. It's because I'm not undeniable. Mm. So I want you have to, to become unstoppable. Undeniable. Yeah. They they, undeniable. they need you because you if they hire you. You produce more money. You yeah. make the production uh, quality. I higher. think a lot of people like have this. That's what um, I see. Like I think that that sort of like you know uh, that attitude works really well, and not just in entertainment, but anything where it's like I want my book to be published. You, well, make yourself the type of person when other people make a lot of money from publishing your book. It's, yeah, it's kind of not very. But I don't think this is in conflict with the art. I don't think you, so. No, it's not in conflict with the art because it's like. If you, if you have really no interest in making the work good, then yeah, you're gonna need somebody to help you. But if you work to make it really good, the whole world is full of people who would love to make good stuff, but they can't, so they will help other people who do make good stuff make some of yeah. the money and then they take if some If you money. choose to do what we do as an artist, a performer, uh, you are not gonna live, make a living if you are mediocre. Mm. You can be a mediocre lawyer, mediocre accountant, mediocre, I yeah. don't know, nurse, and people don't die from you. You know, yeah, you, yeah. you can still make a living, but yeah. as a comedian, you be have to be nurse. really good, one of the best to just, be able to make yeah. a good living. And not just comedy, I think like all sorts of art and performance, art, yeah. and like it is a winner take all thing. Yeah. The top two to three people will make more money than the rest of the others. Mm -hmm. And again, artists don't necessarily work for the money, but the truth is if you're going to pay your rent and you have kids mm -hmm. and you have all this stuff, you need to be able to do that. Yeah. And, and I think it's, um, you know, it's ironically, I think a better place to be coming from if you have enough that you, you know, like, okay, I'm not going to get kicked out of my apartment tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I can actually work on the, the work. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. need at least something of that in yeah. order to be able to make something really good. I think the industry is unfair. Mm. It's definitely um, unfair. Mm. And uh, uh, there are times that somebody who is less talented than you getting better jobs. Mm. It happens. But if you are undeniable, you will work. So what? how do you define undeniable? What makes you undeniable? If you go to a show, mm -hmm. You are the funniest on the lineup. Mm. You are funnier than the person before you, after you, mm. and you are on time, and you are nice to all the staff. Yeah. And uh, you people, most people come to the show to see you. Mm. 
and then and then all of a sudden you repeat things, the same thing. It's like it, it's funny how it shifts like it shifts. that. Yeah, it when shifts. that is what you do, you'll be working yep. and getting paid a lot of money. Yeah. So um, yep. I I people don't like me. They really don't because well, I I when I see you, yeah. Jesse, you probably you know the Chinese culture. You just like most people are like oh she's so. All well, I, I know, I know, I know. I've lived in China, so I'm like, I see the way you're acting. I'm like, she's getting it. That's all it yeah. is. Other she's guys are like, what's she up to? Like, what's wrong with her? I'm yeah, like, no, yeah. I don't want Not from you. I don't yeah. want anything from your basement. Like, you live in your mom's basement. I yeah. don't know. I don't want <laughs> to broke dick, honey. Like, shut up. <laughs> so they were like, oh, what she want from me? I'm like, nothing. Another good you T-shirt. Have to yeah, I don't want your broke dick. Shut up. That'd be good. <laughs> you're coming out with a whole line. <laughs> this is already good. I bet if you look back at this whole clip, you'd say five or six of them that you could get onto T-shirts. T-shirts, and also that's we, in designs of my art. He's amazing. We know in China. We know people yeah. in China. We get these shirts made. Yeah, ask, over here. I, I find some uh, shirts for us. <laughs> yeah, we get shirts. We uh, people can do, do it for us. Yeah. So Jesse, what I'm trying to say is like it's like what you did. Mm. What you can pull off is impossible. Uh, allow why speaking mm. Chinese. So okay, first of all, you are a foreigner. You can speak your language to communicate with your friends. Mm. You are already winning. Yeah, you it's can, hard. I mean, a lot of people, and especially in China, because they're so nice about it. They actually don't require you to be any better. If you can go in and you're like, "Hey, ni hao, wo yao dian cai," like, "What?" Cute. They like it, and it's supportive. I don't want to make fun of people. I'm not bashing people. That's very supportive. But there's also if you come in, "Hey, ni hao, if we are the big wall," they don't know what to do with you. Mm -hmm. There's no place for somebody that speaks Chinese really well, and that was one of the reasons I started doing being coming a writer because mm -hmm. I I initially thought maybe I'll act in some movies. I like acting. I do mm -hmm. improv. I could be of help. And then what I found out was no one was writing roles for foreigners in Chinese because they literally didn't think they could find an actor to say the words. Oh my god! They were like, the, and and I've been like, I've been to like, um, like when I was on the one of the the Chinese versions of SNL, like I was writing scripts and I wasn't getting cast in the shows. I would write the scripts, they would make my script. But then they would replace me in the acting. With a Chinese and, guy. And then later I found out it was because the boss literally thought I was going to my, forget my lines. You're like, I wrote them. I was like, I wrote that script. I'm not going to forget about them. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not, I'll just also like, come see me do stand up. I'll do I an hour with special. A, I came up with a line while I'm pooping. I won't yeah. forget about it, honey. And meanwhile, not... they hire like college students, like just out of college, because they're easy to sign for the contracts. Yeah. And like, they might mess up their lines. They're college students, they're not professionals. Mm -hmm. I've been doing shows for nine years. So, yeah, it was it's it was hard. annoying. It it's was very annoying. hard, and like, it's very inspiring. What yeah. you can do is that you 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 are not doing something, just doing acting, which is yeah. easy. You you brought you know <laughs> a lot of actors just went like hmm, but yeah. yeah. It's I easy. Agree. As a you comedian, brought, uh, it's a comedi new... yeah. comedians all think acting is easier than comedy. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> there's new art forms. Stand up, you yeah, know, yeah. that's just really, really impressive. And so <laughs> you 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 just understand what I'm about because mm. what I'm about to pull off. Mm. Has never been done before. Yeah. Joe did it. Yeah. Joe Wang did it. Joe Wang is the only person who did it. Joe is great, and Joe, me. yeah, and Joe is on the podcast as well. If you want to hear a really great podcast, Joe's a super nice guy, very very smart, PhD, also fantastic comedian. And the thing I like about Joe, Joe is the same guy in Chinese as he is in English. I know. It's That's really why hard he's to do. Authentic. It's really hard to do because, like, as a foreigner, it's very easy to do jokes in China. Where if I want to be like, oh, well, bu dong, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. like I don't know what's going on, but that's not me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always trying to learn. If I don't understand it, like, you know, I think that's funny. I love I'm, I, I'm I, I, I caught it, you know? some of you said that mm -hmm. I might show as improv. Mm -hmm. people, people were dying. I, I loved how smart it was. You combined uh, your Chinese, being a foreigner, and also the, 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 the pronoun, gender, all <laughs> kind of stuff, all together in this one joke. It's, it's pretty, quite brilliant. <laughs> thank you. I was very impressed. I got to go back and look at I don't say things. that often. Oh, you know, thank I'm you Dustin, so much. I'm very snotty. Hey, hey, well, right, Dustin, you, I'm very snotty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't I, if I'm not impressed, I won't, I won't, I won't I stare you at you. Well, so here's, well, I'll ask you then, because I actually have been looking for a, a, a chance to ask you a bunch of these questions anyway. Like, how do you think I should go about dealing with the American audience as this white guy who spent so much time in China, and I feel sometimes that if I come on, if I if I hit him with a full blast, if I don't go all the way down to like you know, very basic stuff about China, they're gonna get lost. Do you think I should just lose them? I think uh, you should forget about you went to China. Mm. You should forget about uh, anything. You should just uh, talk about uh, Jesse right here, right now, today. Mm. And uh, all of the thing about China, your your Chinese is gonna come out. Yeah. It was so difficult for me. Like, do I do more about my Chinese background, Chinese things, mm. or more things? Then I realized, that, look at his face. Mm. It's a Chinese woman, mm. and you are the only, I would say, the only white man who uh, who can do. 
who, who know Chinese so well, you can mm. actually do stand up. Mm. It's gonna come out. Yeah. Uh, all of the things. So I just because my like, regular everyday life, even though I'm here in LA, I'm drinking tea. Mm -hmm. I run a tea yeah. business in China. Exactly. I got. A, I was thinking of doing a whole bunch of stuff about yeah. the tea business. Exactly. Even the little things. Like I was thinking of doing a joke about because um, in China, if you want to have a business, you need to have a registered address. Mm -hmm. But uh, I went to try to find this address, and the guy was like, "I was like, oh, what? You need a address. Oh, you need a real address or fake address?" I'm like, "Well, no, 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 no. We are, we are doing real." He's like, "Oh, you don't understand. Fake address is also real address." I love that. I'm like, wait, what's wrong? They're like, wait, 假地址分真假地址和假假地址。真打地址就是我们真的有一个地址，我们注册给你好，这个地方是真的存在，但是你不在那儿。I'm like, well, no, 这个假假地址呢？就是假的假地址，就是我们这个地方，我们我们也是租给一百个人。I have amazing, amazing joke to do with it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's well, amazing. I'm well, like, we do. So the 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 fake fake um address and the real fake address is like a lot like a, um. LA girls' tits. Yeah, it's like the real, real tits are the one who's who's fat transferred there. Yeah, the fake, fake tits are like implants, but yeah. the fake, real tits are like the good implants. You don't, you can't tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. I don't know something <laughs> yeah. like that. You there's, a, there's, there's levels to this. This is what I'm saying. It's like if you weren't from American culture, you may not realize the difference between the real and the fake and the real. Because thing. the Chinese dress is so funny. It's, it's, I mean, even in English, it's hilarious. Yeah, but I like. So I like the thing is like I feel like because you're not from America, you come here. People are ready for you to have a different way of looking at things,、mm -hmm. um, and that was the fun part of being in China as well. Is like I could bring up a normal topic,、mm -hmm. but people would be curious to see is he going to come out a different way.、Mm -hmm. Do you have the problem where what what if you agree with the most people? Are like you know, if I brought up a regular topic in China and I say something that was actually like not a Lawai opinion,、mm -hmm. like you know, I had a problem with like one time where I was trying to get a joke onto a Chinese TV show. And I had a joke about、uh, being on the subway in Beijing,、mm -hmm. but it wasn't like Lao Wai on the subway. It、mm -hmm. was just a joke about people on the subway and how they were just like attached to their phones.、Um, and then they're like, "We don't want that on the show because anybody could say that joke. We don't need a Lao Wai to say that joke." Yeah, but、uh, you, you know? are not. Uh, uh, but in China, they are very specific about、uh, they want you to play a certain role because、yeah. your face is you're、yeah. such a white boy. Yeah,、so、they want you to do that. But in America, I feel like.、Uh, Is so much more random,、mm. like casual,、mm. and like the the best comedies are like just like、yeah. you and I drinking tea together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Chinese a white boys. I have I was writing a joke. I'm like、um, so I have this、mm. white Jewish boy、mm. explaining tea to me. He knows tea <laughs> more than I know about tea. I'm just thinking about how much my mom's gonna love him more than I. He, she loves me. I just like I was crying while I was drinking. I'm like,、oh, yep. I already know my mom's、That's、gonna、funny. love him. She hasn't even met him yet,、yeah. but he has a dick, so. <laughs> so like, I just I, thinking. I had a joke about how it was like I I, I bet it'd be really weird if if I were. Dating a Chinese American girl, it'd be like uncomfortable for them because it's like if the white guy doesn't speak Chinese, like oh he's making dumplings with my mom, that's so cute. Oh my god! But if he、Jessie? does speak Chinese, he's like oh he's WeChatting my mom. Oh my、What、god, Jesse, that is hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious because I have a friend.、Uh, his name is Michael.、Mm. He's one of the part of the biggest law firm in South、uh, California, mm. Mm.、Uh, Southern California, and he's the head of their、um, Asia Pacific office. So he、yeah. speaks Chinese,、yeah. not as good as you, nobody、mm. is, but、uh, very close. He's a、mm. Jewish boy. Oh yeah. So he's dating this、um, Asian girl、mm -hmm. who is adopted. Oh, by white people. Oh my god! Speak a word of her own language. Oh, that's gonna be so confusing. So this girl knows no tea. This girl is like, yeah, yeah. what is Buddha? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh is Tokyo?、Uh, is Tokyo in Japan? You know, yeah, she doesn't this, know. This white guy is like、uh, speaking Japanese.、Uh, meanwhile,、Korean. he's like a East Asia yeah, scholar, scholar and expert. Yeah, scholar with art all over his house. It's、uh, it's hilarious.、When、I bet I his apartment looks like my apartment. Yeah, it's all <laughs> no, like I, Eastern I art. It's hilarious. That's so funny. Yeah, I just I, you are、uh, you、world. are just the、uh, you are a funny person. Oh, thank you. So I, I think、uh, you don't. I think don't think about the audience. Think about what makes think you feel me. good. Because that's the other thing is like whatever whatever is in your mind need to be. Released.、Yeah. You only do that because、yeah. you have no problem. You are already funny. Yeah. You are a funny guy. You, whatever you do is funny. And, and I think like it's one of these weird things. It's like the worst thing you could do as a comedian is like want the audience to love、mm -hmm. you. Like that. It's like it's horrible. No one wants to go to a show. I need. I, the way you treat you the、know. audience, you should be an abusive boyfriend. You should just like. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I love、yeah. you guys. Bye. Thank you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Buy tickets. Speaking of which, well, we will we'll pitch your tickets at the end. But but、uh, Jiao Ying is doing lots of shows. Would you、um, have you felt like a difference in your life? As in, was there like a before and an after moment where you're like, oh, things have changed?、Yeah. I'm like, I'm real. It's、yeah. real. What、There's、was it? What、there was, was a moment. I think I would call that moment of me as a open maker who try to figure it out and a star.、Mm. 
is uh, I I don't know if you know the Love Factory, but yep. uh, I started uh, open making, doing the audition makes on Tuesdays. I stand outside the line every day, and mm -hmm. then I find a homeless guy. I pay him fifty bucks mm -hmm. to stand in there for me from twelve. There we go. Hey, Jay. So I show up at five thirty. I'm being Chinese. I don't yeah. want to stand there. Yeah. No. And then. I, I never got a call back. Sometimes mm. I'm funnier than all the other people. I never got a call back for the open mic. So why, why do you think that was? It's it's just very complicated. First of all, uh, people who's hosting it, they are always gonna get their friends on stage. Yeah. And the people, uh, I'm just uh, I'm a hard, I'm a hard, I'm a hard one to love. Yeah. I'm more like people who love me love me. Mm. Who don't like me? You have to be okay like with me. that energy because yeah. you're not gonna you're yeah. not changing your energy no. based on the. You walk into the tea room, you're on 100. Yeah. percent Like you're you're like you're gonna do what you want yeah. to regardless yeah. of what space yeah. it is or whatever. So people who don't like me, I'm not gonna change. It. Yeah. My make be myself, be a mild person of me, be a like a, a wish.com like, yeah, in summers, yeah. be a cheap version of me. Oh, that would so be can, so bad. It's disgusting. <laughs> it wouldn't. So I know I can't work. change. Either you like me or you don't like me. Mm. And the, the comedy thing, they don't accept new things. They they, mm. they want you to be a new Ali Wong. People ask me, don't wear makeup, wear overall, mm. do more uh, dirty jokes, you know, be like more yeah, like yeah. Ali, Ali the star, you know. I can't be Ali. Ali, everything, everything she does is is signature. Yeah. It's the real authentic Well, she's doing it because that's what she wants to do. It's yeah, like, she, why would you do what she wants to do? I'm only going to be a cheap knockoff yeah. version of her. Yeah. I won't even be me. I'm just nothing. So, so, so people we tell me that. So, to do it, that. so what was the moment? We were there in the line. Yeah, that's like, the okay, moment. You're lining yeah. up. So I never got anything. So I remember one time, uh, Love Factory was doing a search, a, a, com a comedy competition. The search of the funniest female comedian hmm. is like 10 shows. Um, they, they would, uh, you should send your tape. Actually, the, 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 the white girl, my friend, she's another uh, white girl speak Chinese, mm. grew up in Hong Kong, asked me to send the tape. I'm like, no, they don't like me there. No, off. So I'm like, you know what, I'll email. So I got uh, an audition. I wasn't going to make it. I was in Seattle. I, I don't want to go because I know they won't pick me because it's been a year. I've been mm -hmm. doing the open mic. So I somehow, something changed. I went up, mm -hmm. I, I showed up, I went there. I remember I was at a bar. Mm -hmm. I had a one IPA. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, it. I'm having one more. It. Yeah, I don't care because they don't like me. The the, uh, the alcohol, the classic Simpsons line: alcohol, the cause of and solution to yeah. all no, of life. Yeah, I just like everybody. <laughs> so it was my turn. I went on stage. I was me, full blown Johnny Summers, mm. the one I wanted to show the world, but I was scared to show. Yeah. I went on stage. I just literally you just let it all destroyed out. it, and I got up and left. And yeah. then the, the manager ran after me, be like. Yeah. So way to do it. You were just out. I You're was. Like, I became a paid regular. Do overnight. you think? Do you think? You that was have, the moment I knew I wasn't. That stop. was the moment. You're there. You're there. You're like I can be me, and the more I'm me, and then because leave. Normally, yeah, I don't yeah. want to be. And if me. you want me, you'll chase me. Yeah, you don't want yeah. me. Yeah. Off. You want it? And so that's you, when I kind of don't care anymore because I said that I always try to be polite and sweet because people don't like how aggressive I am. Yeah. They always advise you are too aggressive on stage. You're not a star yet. You can't be that because you'll scare people off. But uh, you know, I, then I'd be well. A I think ass. nowadays, nowadays, there's more way, more than one way to do it. I think that's the best part about the internet is a lot of people they 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 hate on TikTok or they hate on social media and they just don't get it. it's like whoever you they are. They also all have account when they yeah, hate on. Yeah, they all. Yeah, they, they all have account with 200 followers. Yeah, exactly. Well, they they all. They, what it is is I think it's two things. Why do people hate on TikTok? It's two things: it's fear and pride. Mm -hmm. The pride is I'm too good for this, mm -hmm. and the fear is. What if I actually show people my best effort and it doesn't work? Yeah, And exactly. then, and like, if you can't get over those two things, forget just like art. Like it's gonna be hard in life if you can't get over those two things. Cause mm -hmm. you need, nobody is good at anything when they start. Mm -hmm. You need to fail at stuff repeatedly. And people who learn the second language know you're gonna sound like an idiot. And you may even be very successful and might people still, they don't know you, they hear an accent, they still might think you're slow. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this um, people don't respect me. Don't respect me because of my accent. But uh, I, I, I use. I just. Uh, I don't explain myself. I yeah, just show them the results. To. I don't show anybody. I do me. So when you. So now that you're doing more shows, how has it changed? Because you're also you're raising kids. Mm -hmm. How do you balance sort of raising kids and being a comedian? It just and uh, get everything together. More pressure because I want to take the children on tour. That costs mm. me more money. So I just need to sell more tickets. I need mm. to be better at what I do mm -hmm. as a comedian. I need to be bigger on my social media game so I can sell mm. more tickets. Mm -hmm. So we're work, working towards to uh, basically expand my reach yeah. and get more content. You got to sell media. some t-shirts. You got to yeah, sell t-shirts. <laughs> and I want my children to really, I want mm. to teach them like the, the, the white yeah, that yeah. way, like love. Yeah. I, I know it's disgusting, but I'm going to 
not yeah. be the super Chinese mom.、Mm. I want them to do what they love. Why? Why is it so important to you? Do you think it's just because of the way you were raised? You want yeah, to do it different. Yeah, because I'm successful. I'm really, really high achiever.、Mm. But I,、uh, I'm not happy.、Mm. Nothing I can. Nothing can make me happy.、So、well,、far. don't give up on it. You, I'm working on it. You're working、therapy. on it. Yeah. But I, I just but want children is, to、yeah. really feel like they are loved unconditionally, unconditionally, and then they they can thrive at the things they love. I don't want to throw like if you don't do this, I won't love you. You know,、mm. you I want them to know that I'm always here. Be more open. Yeah. See, so they have a safety place. They are more secure. That makes、sense. easier to be happy. The because、uh, it's I mean when you think about that how do you wind up doing that on a day to day basis are there things where you kind of have to catch yourself yeah I catch、like. myself and I also catch my mom <laughs> she loves them so much you know 隔代亲 yeah, the yeah. grandparents love the children grandchildren so、yeah. much but sometimes my mom has this you know、yeah. thing she、yeah. when something is messy when the yeah, kids yeah. make something messy she starts screaming she, yeah I don't like screaming I said、yeah. mom you cannot、yeah. scream at them. We have made.、Yeah. They are children. They are four. It's okay. They make a mess on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that's what they. It's、do. okay. They draw on the wall.、They're、I don't care about the wall. Professional. There's no Japanese coming、yeah. to examine the wall. Yeah, yeah. The wall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are. We own the、They're、house.、Fine. Yeah. We don't pay rent. We own the house. The、yeah. kids can pee on the wall. I don't、yeah. care. He can clean、it's、after. It's our wall. He can clean after. Yeah. Or put a frame around it. And yeah. Say that's art. Yes. There you go. <laughs> so the and so it's it's kind of that that process of trying to do it differently. Yeah. It's hard. Break that generational trauma. It's hard to do. I, yeah, I imagine it's very hard. But I don't want my mom to scream because whenever she scream at me, I I shake. Yeah, I will remember once like okay, she scream at me, she's screaming at me. Whenever I get my hand dirty with the koi yeah. pond, yeah. she'll be screaming like, why don't you just die? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I I I, I big ups to my parents. My parents, I think, I had an untraditional. Grow, uh, uh, sort of parenting situation. Grow up. My dad is gay. My dad came out when I was in second grade, and so my dad and his husband,、uh, guy, are two of my parents, and my mom is the third parent. Now my mom is boyfriend. Blah blah blah. But basically, I was raised by three parents, and they were all very good with each other. It didn't matter that we were divorced, or my dad was gay, or straight, or whatever, because I essentially just had three parents, and、um, they were very. They were very open about being okay with whatever I did.、Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would like if I was like I want to do improv. They're like great.、Um, yeah,、mm, I want to. Because they are gay, so they. Yeah, I think. Well, I think part of it was, and I think that you know, I had I had a, I had a joke that I was doing back in China where they're like the, I had a bunch of gay dad jokes and people are like oh they say like oh 那就这个你你如果是跟中国人结婚的话，你家人会介意吗？然后说是我我家是 gay， 我爸是 gay， 所以。他已经接受了，呀， yeah, 他他跟我说，我已经接受了半辈子有人拒绝我的爱情。你觉得我会觉得国籍重要吗？<笑>是个男的都 OK， <笑> like 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 as long as it's a guy. And、um, so I have to I have to be the one to disappoint my dad by being straight. So you are like heterosexual. <laughs> I'm straight, but the but like um but like because I think of having the untraditional family situation, I think that. They, I, I think that my parents really had to think about it a little bit more, and they're like saying, like, what does it mean for us to want to have our life in the way that we want to do it? And then why would we tell our children they can't? You know, we have a kid that wants to live in Asia. Yeah, go for it. You know, and and some of that is a money thing. Like, if I didn't have enough money to fly back, that would have been hard. But like, you know, I managed to make enough money where I could travel back, and I actually came home. I bet more than a lot of kids. If I had lived in L.A. You know, it, you know, it still would have been hard to go back more than once a year. You know,、mm-hmm. especially from starting from Boston. Boston, you're Boston. from Boston. Yeah,、oh、Boston, East Coast, Dongbei. You have to do, you have to do the、yeah. Boston show. Yeah, well, Dongbei. Yeah, well, if you you're, you're in Boston, let me、oh. know. They, yes,、uh, I'm getting、um, the the、uh, the Wilbur. Oh, Wilbur, Wilbur's big theater. Yeah, that'd be great. No, I'd love to do that. The Wilbur's、uh, is a major theater. Didn't、uh, Joe Wong? I think Joe performed it. Almost, we almost did it, but the、mm. time didn't work out. Oh we yeah, we were gonna do it together. Oh, you told me about it. I、yeah. did Boston、uh, Laugh Factory. No, I mean Laugh. Boston、uh, Laugh Factory. Laugh Boston. Yeah, yeah, Laugh Boston. In, uh, Norm Laugh. December. Yeah, yeah, good yeah. guy. Yeah, Norm's great. The、um, so there's, but I, I think that like that sort of.、Um, So you want to be able to create that sort of situation for your kids, where they're not like you know they're not feeling like they have to do this or have to do that. Yeah, I uh, my uh, my my ex husband is emotionally distant. He's、mm. very emotionally distant. He、mm. doesn't、uh, when 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 Winston make a mistake,、uh, he would give him the silent treatment、mm. for for a long time.、Mm. He would be like, "Daddy," he would just be like this. Ah,、oh, that's good. So that's not. I mean, he's not in the picture. Yeah. So I I I have to make up for. Companionship. I think companionship、mm. is very important. So 
I, I can't be be busy unless I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, therefore, well, it, may, it makes a lot of things easier if you rich. have the money to be able to yeah. do it. So and you're going to fight for it. If you yeah, I, I will take them to Las Vegas with me. They are always by my side. My son opens for me. He's genius. Really? He does a one minute killer. Oh, okay. that's great. Joe saw him doing it at Covina Love Factory. Oh, that's great. Very good. He Is loves he good on this. stage? Amazing. That's the, he was great, huh? Yeah, yeah. On stage? Incredible. Killing Incredible. Killing like, he just he loves audience. He's he's comfortable there. He wants to be there. That's good. So I'm gonna try to get him to open for me more. Just like yeah. one minute. Just well just play because I think that's the sort of thing. Like I remember um, when Joe was in China, uh, his son would be hanging around backstage mm -hmm. and I thought this was like a very different environment that I grew up in, but on the other hand it's kind of fun. Like being backstage at a comedy show. You know, I met Joe before fun. I started comedy. Oh, did you? I met Joe seven years ago. Oh, wow. And my husband and I went to Joe's office. Oh. My husband was going to invest Joe's TV show. Oh, really? I was, not an, I was not a comedian. I never told Joe I want to be a comedian. Joe was actually teaching stand-up yeah, in yeah. China right, yeah, right yeah, then. Yeah. And uh, it was, that's why I come to a shock to him that mm. uh, two years later, he's people like, oh, started talking yeah. about my name. And three years later, I became he's like, yeah, me. Well, he's like, like, he's yeah. like, what? Yeah, he's like, like he's he, super yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Joe's so nice. I'm sure love, he's like yeah, up on love it. Joe. I think the um, so I, I think it's great. I mean, I I'm very glad you were uh, able to come on the podcast. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you over for, for having tea. me. Um, before, love your tea. Yeah. Before we head out, last couple of questions. I usually do like a lightning round. So mm -hmm. like you know, one sentence answer, something mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, but before we do the lightning round, just uh, what did you think of this red tea? Uh, this you red like tea, it? I love it. it it's kind of like a wake up call. Mm. It's like boom yeah. because you have a big meal and a busy busy afternoon but as a comedians yeah. or somebody who wanted to look alert early evening mm. you drink this in yeah. the afternoon and you can be very alert like we go on stage before we go on stage yeah. we do this or like you have an important yeah. date you don't want to look sleepy on yeah. dates no. that's why you have the hong cha yeah. uh, to go on dates yeah and also the tea leaves are very good because in chinese culture mm. if you are poor you can't afford to get gold earrings when you just got your ear pierced and you put mm. tea leaves in there oh is that a thing it, it keep it not being infected oh those tea leaves are good the tea leaves are good you can see the tea leaves people put in your ear mm. for like a, i didn't know that i yeah, gotta, yeah. Look, I gotta way, look that up yeah yeah that's good I, I, the things you don't so the, but these are the things i never learned as, cool. as, as, a, as a guy that moved to china in, in my 20s mm -hmm. i never you learned about never my hang ear out with piercing. poor people i never well it's not the poor people it's just i don't have my ear pierced Oh, it's okay. <laughs> but the, um, uh, yeah, red tea is great. I um, love it. Let's do our lightning round. So, mm -hmm. one sentence answer. Mm -hmm. I know that might be hard for you, but. <laughs> I know it's yeah. hard. I can't yeah. keep my hormone shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's no <laughs> let's do it. Um, so, first thing is um, what's the best part about being a comedian? You can, your life uh, happens, it's not, it's good. Yeah, that's good. What's the worst part of being a comedian? You are a lonely. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the, uh, the the craziest comedy show you've ever performed in? Bill Burr bring me up on stage and calling me hilarious and amazing. Oh, that's so amazing. What's the, what's the worst comedy show you've been involved in? Uh, I was uh, invited, I had, I sold out two shows in New York City. Mm. This person begged me to do a show, uh, do a spot. I didn't want to do it, but because I feel bad to reject them and I went up there and they uh, did not give me a stage time. <sighs> what? when I don't need to do it. Oh, that's annoying, that's pretty bad. Um, what's your, um, uh, let's see, one last question. Uh, let's say, what's your, uh, what's your advice for people that are trying to do comedy or anything creative in their second language? Don't give up, fight for it. Don't give up, fight for it. Again, put that on a shirt. Yeah. We're all ready. We got a couple shirts out of it today. Thank you so much, Yao Ying, for coming thank over. I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who are new to the show, thank you so much for listening all the way through to the end. If you want to get any of the stuff on here, the tea tables, the tea pets, the kettles, uh, the tea themselves, uh, all this stuff is up on the website. We even have the, uh, the Jesse C. House tea towels and stuff like so that. Cute. Uh, you guys getting tea supports the show. The show prospers. We all prosper. And you get really good tea. Um, and uh, in, other than that, I'm not exactly sure when this is airing, so you may be able to see some really fun content of our green teas. Uh, we have a green tea either pre-order or up for order by the time this comes out. And um, I'm going to be in China basically most of the rest of the spring at the Green Tea Mountains doing comedy shows. Maybe do something together with Yang yes, and May. Yes, so excited. It would be fun. So uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And Yang, where can they find you? 
Jiao Ying Summers dot com, Summers Comedy dot com, Jiao Ying Summers everywhere, social media, TikTok, Instagram, and I'm have my national tour all year round, all yep. year round. And she's performing. Tickets. She's performing in a ton of places. So if you're one of these people that are like, oh, I don't live near the major city or whatever, there's probably you have a lot of dates. Yeah, there's a yeah. city near you. I'm yeah. coming to a city near yeah, you. Yeah, she is coming. Whether or not you're there, that's your problem. Yeah, and you need to solve that. So mm-hmm. thank you guys uh, again so much for watching. Thank you, Jiao Ying, for being for on the show. Thank you for having me, Jizzy. Cheers. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers.